Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about something called a CSS reset sheet, which is something I highly recommend you guys look into before starting any kind of website. Essentially what it is, is when you start out a completely new website, all your browsers are going to have some kind of default styling applied to all the elements on your website, which you need to get rid of if you want a completely clean and controlled website. Now, what I mean by that is I have created a div box over here as an example, and I have styled it. So as you guys can see, I did actually give my div box a width as a 100%, a height as 80 pixels, and I gave it a background color as black. Now, if you take a look at it, you'll actually notice that even though I told it that I wanted it to be 100%, there's actually a margin going on on both the left and the right side and at the top, which is something that is applied by our browser as a default when it comes to styling. So in order to get rid of the browser's default styling, we're gonna to have to add some CSS code at the very beginning of our style sheet, which sets everything back to zero or like back to normal. So we have a complete control over what exactly is styled in which way. So I found a website here and you can actually just go to Google and search for a CSS reset sheet or like a, just an HTML5 reset style sheet. And there's gonna be a bunch of links that takes you to different kinds of websites. Now, the one I found here is one called html5doctor.com, which has a, a very good piece of reset sheet that I have used in every single project of mine. And what you can do is simply go down and start copying the code all the way down to the bottom where it stops. You're gonna copy it, go to your style sheet, then we're gonna go ahead and paste it at the very top of our style sheet, like so. And this time, after I saved it and refreshed my website, you'll notice that suddenly our margin disappears because now we have reset our browser. So this is why you want to consider using a reset style sheet. And this is probably something you should do if you want everything to look exactly the way that I'm doing in this series before we get started. Okay, so this is all I want to show you guys in this episode. In the next episode, we're going to start creating our header of our website, which we have right here and actually make it look like something. So hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time.